I've decided that starting today and for the rest of the week, the theme is going to be wearing things that are in the back of my closet that still have tags on them. So it starts today. So today's outfit is, I have no idea where this is from, but the dress is Urban Outfitters. The shoes are, those are guest sneakers from a long time ago. But this dress I've had for know, maybe a year and a half, never worn it before. And I'm wearing a Marc Jacobs bag, YSL Sunnies, and that's today's outfit. Like I was saying this week, I'm going to just be focusing on trying to wear the things I've never worn before. I went through all of my clothes in my closet and I found so many things that um, I've never worn before. So this week, I'm actually just going to try to, this week and maybe next week, I'm going to try to focus just on dresses because it's still summer. I found 18 dresses, three blazers, um, seven skirts, 12 shorts, seven tops, 12 pants uh, that I have never worn before. And that excludes anything that I've purchased in the last month, outerwear, athletic attire, tees, tanks, and sweaters. That's a lot of stuff. So, um, so I don't know. I got a lot to choose from this week. I don't know how I'm going to style this stuff. I don't even know if this stuff is, I'm going to have to find a way to make them, um, work appropriate for the most part, because some of this, that's the reason why I haven't worn them because they're not things that you can really wear every day. But, you know, I did that video on how to style up your dressy clothes so that you can wear them every day and that inspired me i thought to myself i think i can wear you know just wear these things that are you know not every day every day so i'm gonna try some of these you've you have seen before i've done hauls in the past and you've seen them just never wore them some of them i may not even be able to fit i don't know yet we'll find out soon enough some of these are super adorable forgot i even had them So this should be good. That's enough for now. Um, I will keep you posted throughout the week to show you what I've decided to wear. So this morning I decided to go with, um, I don't even know what brand of dress this is, but it's a faux wrap dress. And the reason why I haven't worn this before is because the slit is so high on this. So I put some fashion tape here to make sure that it stays closed, but we'll see what happens with that. And um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of the dress. That's the reason why I bought it, but I just didn't know where I could wear it. So we'll see. It's very, very sexy. I think I'm going to put a blazer on top of this to kind of tone down the sexy. Um, I'm wearing it with a pair of um, nude Corso Como pumps new dish because I'm darker than, <laughs> than the shoes but um, yeah this is um, this is what I'm rocking today and I have on the I mean this Kate Spade I don't know if you remember me buying this but it's in a Kate Spade initial necklace so it's not focusing in for some reason but okay but you get the gist of it so this is the dress for today I guess there's a reason why it was in the back of my closet that is very very sexy so this is the dress. I'm gonna probably pop a blazer on and then you'll be able to, if you go to Instagram, see my pictures of the day and you'll see what it looks like. So the first thing I normally do when I get home is rip all of my clothes off, but I wanted to give you an update. So there's a reason why I think I've not worn this to work and that's just because one is just for me entirely too, you know, sexy, right? Um, I, and I think the verdict is, is that is just too small. So all day, I spent all day trying to adjust this, which I should have probably just pinned. And I only had, I think, one safety pin with me. And then the fashion tape stuck all day for me. It worked, but it wasn't low enough. So when I walked, this sort of opened even further where the tape stopped. So I did end up having to pin pin it here. But the verdict is the reason why it's flying open so much is just 
it's too small. It's just too small. I mean, it it fits the curves pretty well, I guess. Um, you know, in, in any other setting, I would say, but for work, not so much. And then, I think I've told you this before. When I do wear heels to work, for work rather, I don't walk in them to and from work. I just um, I wear flats to work, and when I get to the office, I'll change into the heels. And so that's what we have have here. I have on some just you know flat sandals or whatever. So I'm gonna rip this off. I've been uncomfortable in this all day because I've been having to adjust this, watch this, pull this, yank that. Even though I had a blazer on top of this, I still felt, and it was a longer blazer probably to here, but I felt like uncomfortable all day. And um, I feel like this one, I, I don't know that I'll wear this again, so I'll probably get rid of this. It's sad that I had to pop the tag off to find that out, but um, don't think I'm going to wear this again. So say goodbye to it. Today's outfit is a free press dress or free peep. I'm, I don't think it's free peep. It's free press. Um, this one was also in the back of my closet. Um, you know, relaxed but sexy fit. This, um cow neck is a bit sexy I think that I could probably wear this year round if I put like a t-shirt or a turtleneck or something underneath so it's to me pretty versatile this is some necklace that I've found I don't know in my drawer and have been wearing lately I don't know where I got it from but yeah this is a pretty like flowy dress really long. I think because I'm short it's probably supposed to hit about here but because I'm short, it's very close to being maxi. Then these, I, you may remember these. These are some Madden Girl shoes that I bought some time ago that I've never worn. And partially because it's really difficult. I couldn't figure out how to tie these up around the ankle. I had them all cued and bowed and stuff, but they keep sliding down. So this is the end result of that. So literally three pieces today. Shoes dress, necklace. My hair is, um, I don't know if you can see my hair is pretty simple in this knot at the top here. Top knot. And that's it. We'll see how this works. I'm probably going to pop on a blazer on top of this because like I said, you could wear <laughs> just about anything you want to to work as long as you cover it up with a blazer or a sweater or something like that. It makes it a work appropriate. But I think I like this one. I feel more comfortable in this one than I did the one yesterday. I don't feel like I'll be pulling or tugging at anything today. Um, I am, yeah. yeah. I don't think I'll be pulling or tugging at anything today. So I feel good about this. So I am headed to the gym right now. Um, I won't have time. Well, I'm gonna change to obviously go to the gym. So therefore I won't be able to give you a recap on my outfit if, um, if I wait until after the gym. But recap on today's outfit from behind the closet is the fact that this dress is too big. And I'll tell you why. It is too loose at the top and then too long at the bottom. I just had a whole bunch of extra fabric. Now, upon first review, like if you saw me wearing it, you'd be like, oh, that's cute. But for me, I spent all day struggling with this cleavage area, this cow neck thing. This is taped down. If it were not taped down, this would be a disaster dress, like legit disaster. And then the bottom was just, like I said, too much fabric, too long, kind of got in the way when I would sit, it would bunch up, it was a lot. So this one probably needs to be tailored, um, but it is, um, there's a reason why I was at the back of my closet, it's too big. All right, this morning's outfit is just a little bit more sweet. Um, and back from the back of my closet, um, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm going to wear it. I don't know if it gives me church vibes or what, but it's it's cute. That's why I bought it. I like this little flounciness, the flowers. It's pink, navy. The length is good. The fit is good. Yes, no sleeves, but I can cover that when I get to the office. But yeah, um, then I pulled out some older pumps from the closet. I've worn these several times before. I've had these for years, but these are, these are from a local-ish shop called Akira and they're suede um, pink and like a not really even burgundy like a red but like muted red I don't know how to call this color but um, yeah I think I'm doing all right I have 
um, this unicorn necklace I think you can't even see it, it sucks but this unicorn necklace you've seen me um, show this in one of my hauls before and um, some Kate Spade rose gold hoops that are um, bezeled with like cubic zirconia so that's the look for today I don't have any other jewelry on just this dress going and sh this week has been simple with these dresses shoes dress necklace that's pretty much it so I will pick up a little bit later and show you I mean or give you an update on what I felt about this outfit this outfit I actually like the best out of all of them that I'm this week this is the one that I like the best um <clears throat> So I think that this one will stay in rotation. Um, it didn't slide down, it didn't creep up, it isn't too tight, it isn't too loose. So this one's definitely going to stay in rotation even though it was initially giving me church vibes. With that being said, I want to recap the experience. Um, I think it's a good exercise. I think all of you should try it. Go in the back of your closets. Just grab things and force yourself to wear them and see how you feel about it. And I think it'll help you make a decision on whether to keep it, sell it, toss it, whatever. Um, however, I know that um, I understand why I didn't wear some of the things. Um, I told you I'm an organic dresser. If I didn't naturally pick it, if I didn't wake up and feel like I wanted to wear that, um, I just did not feel comfortable the entire day. And it's all about how you feel. It could have looked fine. You probably looked at all of those outfits and thought, I don't see anything wrong with any of those. But I personally didn't choose them. I didn't organically choose to wear them every day. So I didn't feel my best. So that's a, that's a psychological exercise too, I guess. Um, I couldn't overcome it. And I was just ready to, I was even compelled um, in yesterday's outfit to go and buy something to wear underneath and something else to wear over. I mean, I just was not okay with how I was dressed. So what I would say is try it. I think you will learn something about yourself, about your wardrobe, just in, about people, how they respond to you wearing, wearing certain things. I would say try this exercise. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Um, go ahead and share it with friends. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the outfits. Let me know what you think about this experiment. And hopefully you'll come back again. Bye.